Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a very special guest. We'll be explaining more to do with how you can be able to get a job in the UK, in healthcare or any other industry. Welcome to the show, Elmas. Maybe you can take this opportunity to introduce yourself and tell us what do you do? Okay, my name is Ella. Well, everybody know me as Ella Swan because I'm a YouTuber. I base here in the UK. I'm a Nigerian living in the UK. I'm also a UK healthcare assistant and a YouTuber. So on my channel, I talk about my life in the UK, what is happening around me, and I share information. So that is just basically in summary everything about me. Oh, that is quite good, quite good. So in a nutshell, maybe you can share with us your story. How did you find yourself from Nigeria now in the UK? Okay. Um I came into the UK in 2018. My husband came to study. So we came in via the student route in 2018. That is just how I can, you know, summarize it. Okay. Yeah. Apart from uh getting in as a student. I know you have now then to go back if the student visa expires. How is it that you are able still to stay there, work and uh, progress uh, maybe your life there? Actually, there are so many routes where you can stay in the UK. So for me, basically, there's so many, it's a long story how I managed to stay in the UK because um, in 2018, when you come to the UK to study, you were giving, mm -hmm. I think, or something like that. And after one year of study, they just give you three, three months to go back mm -hmm. to so as at that time, yeah, we finished study and then I gave birth in the UK. I want to let you another know the pandemic. So uh, for me, I was, I don't know if I said I was lucky, you know, the pandemic, he had a baby. So, you know, they keep extending our visas, visitor, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, fast forward and then the healthcare job routes came in and then mm -hmm. I grabbed, yeah. Oh, that is, that is interesting. As much as uh, the pandemic might have had its own negative uh yeah yeah side. yeah but uh, what in one way or another it helped you stay there and now there you are so what would you say is or some of the popular ways that africans in specific would find their way in the uk i know you have seen others coming into the uk or maybe you have shared some of your experiences and uh, also help people from your channel in an, what, what would you say is the popular way or popular some of the popular routes to get there? Honestly, you know, at first, I would say it's the student's route, but because as at that time, the student route, after study, you go back to your country, so nothing really, you will not even see much rush, so most people you see here working with like professionals, you see like doctors, nurses, especially the nurses, that's kind of people you see and then IT, you know, coming via the IT and then all of that. But of recent, um, I think it was last year, yeah, then the list for the shortage of patients came out and they put healthcare routes and everybody there was a massive rush for like healthcare workers. Everybody was applying for the healthcare job. So I would say now is the healthcare, do you understand? Because I feel like because it's a bit I won't say it's easy to get, but you know, the qualification is not like, you know. It's not like uh, like nurses, doctors, you know, you can, anyone can just go do training and then volunteer, do a job, maybe, two, you know, and then apply for the job. Ah, okay, okay. So at least healthcare is one of the popular ones. And yeah. you have also seen uh, several people coming in through uh, that route. Okay, okay. And um, maybe someone who is seeing this, they have been considering moving to the UK or they have already started the process or they have never started the process what are some of the tips that you can share that someone can take and uh, use to help them fast track or to be on the right track in terms of moving to the uk so okay i would say this like basically based on my own like uh, personal experience you know so um coming here on a student route and then getting a job is a different thing there's some jobs you get they pay very well but they don't sponsor mm -hmm. so like say if you have a partner or a wife so you see this is what people do then probably your wife will not apply for the healthcare route and probably your mm -hmm. husband will do a better job that will pay more because there's some jobs that pay very well but they don't sponsor so if you're looking mm -hmm. for a way to stay in the uk as a family your wife can consider doing the other job that is not really wow just for you know it's for you to get that step i mean after five years 
you get indefinite leave to remain in the UK, isn't it? You can after that five year, you can stop the job and pursue whatever thing you want to. And mind you, you can now get, you know, um, a means to study even you know with the government funding here in the UK. So I think I always mm-hmm people any route you can come in either student because if the job is not working out for you you can try the student route and when you come into the country there are lots of opportunities when you're already in the country and now you see what people are doing and you do what they're doing too you understand so if uh, you have yeah. just come in via student but if you don't you can still apply for jobs and of recent UK brought out some shortage occupation leads there's still construction I think they're also bringing out uh, hospitality Aside from healthcare job, they're also bringing out more lists on the shorted occupation list that people can also consider to apply. So I always say this, if you have the money, student is okay. When you come in, you see what others are doing, you do the same. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And uh, as you come in as a student, is there maybe scholarship or you just speak at university, pay for your fees? Or so, how does it go? So there are lots of scholarship though, but as I when we came in, we don't even know about, you know, like I said, if you, when you're in the country, that's when you start hearing, oh, these people have scholarship, these people have scholarship, do you understand? But back then in Nigeria, I don't really know about scholarship, to be honest. Me personally, I was not a fan of abroad. I was never really interested in traveling abroad, personally, me personally, yeah. honestly, but it was actually my husband's, you know, choice and decision. So yeah, I came in and so okay, here, I like it. So if you have the money, you can pay. It's quite expensive though. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day, it's worth it, to be honest. At the end of the day, it's worth it because uh, why I keep saying with family, because I feel like parents, people who have kids, also benefit. Because, you know, imagine all the people with four kids, all their children going to school for free, you know. So I feel like, you know, people with kids, <laughs> they get lots of benefit in that aspect. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that is basically just. I understand. I know on the side also you are a content creator, you have your channel on uh, YouTube. Maybe you can share with us uh, about your channel, what kind of content do, uh, do you produce so that if anyone is interested can also jump in uh, and see more of your content. Okay, my channel is basically everything about UK and I a little bit touch of other information like, you know, how to get a job, sponsorship, scholarship. I just thought, or I just touch all around although i do mostly on uk content like lifestyle information and all of that good stuff uh-huh. ah good 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 thank you very much i really appreciate you joining uh be here on the channel so if someone wants to uh get your channel what's the name of your channel ella's farm ella's farm so i will also link it in the description of this video make sure you check out her channel and of course subscribe and support her as we finish up, anything else you think you can be able to share with my audience who would want to uh, maybe transition to the UK or as you say, you talk about lifestyle in the UK. How is it different from here, uh, maybe in Africa? Any other thing that you would want to throw in there? Nothing much. I just want to let you all know that uh, life abroad is never easy. I know life in general is not easy, but I just feel like if you're planning to travel abroad, don't expect too much. Too much expectation breaks the heart. Like when you expect too much and you get into the country and you see boom, I, it's going to hit you really bad. So I just feel like just take it normal that UK or abroad in general is just like Africa, but the other type of Africa that is a bit, you know, cold and all of that. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, starting off anywhere is never easy. Even in Africa, if you're relocating from one state or one city to another, it's not easy. So don't expect too much. Expectation hurts, but yeah, it's worth it in the end. Yeah, that's just what I have to say. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, manage your expectation. Don't think uh, just going abroad is the land of milk and honey, right? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Until our next video, we are out. Bye.